the UMIC, the MPK. Um, we did an honor burn down the first year we was in business with a wheat, um, where we stripped it, one strip without MPK, and we burned down with the rest. The straw where we had the MPK and we put it down, you could pick it up, it was and you could pull it apart and it just turned to white powder. Right. The where we did not put the MPK on, we just put the roundup on, we did a ninety foot strip. And you with next spring we went out, grabbed the old straw, you could absolutely not pull it apart. It, 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 it's eliminates hair pinning. Absolutely. It just uh, your organic matter. We started uh, farming three years ago with my mom's and dad's uh, ground. The guy before it has cattle. He took everything off. He chopped the corn. He baled the straw it, and he baled the corn stalks and the organic matter was below one when we took it over. Um, we just got our samples back here this week. Our organic matter is uh, probably between the three and a half up to five, three. Um, it, it, you know, it, it just, the MPK is helping us get our organic matter back, you know. Um, I don't know how, how it does it so fast, but it does it, so... You know, and if we're we've gone to guys in Santa, you know, I go to people and I say, hey, I don't want you to use it on all your ground because then we don't know what it did. I want you to use it on a quarter, put a quarter here and a quarter there, and and see what the difference is. You know, and every time I do it, the customer, like nine days. Scott did it last year with his beans. Scott Bebo, the guy with that we zebraed the sunflowers with this year, he did it with his beans. He said it between 10 and 12 bushels an acre on beans last year. So he was a believer last year. And then he came back with the, on the flowers this year. Right. So, right. But uh, in conclusion, uh, I, the guys that grown sunflowers out of their lives out here have told me that anything that works on corn and beans will work better on flowers because the flowers will eat. And it actually amplifies everything and brings in what it, what it needs better than anything else. And uh, we, we at Rogers Brothers and at Red River Commodities, they're a believer now, they're on board. Uh, they're showing their customers these, these fields that have the C4 on. I already have a lot of their growers calling me from North Dakota. They're, I had a guy call me from Texas already. Uh, where we grow clear down the Mexican border. They want to try it. They want to try a small amounts of it to see what it does, where how it how it works, you know, for them for the seed size. Right. That's the key. To this seed size, better quality, food grade product. Right. And that's what we're trying to strive um, to get that plant to give us the best that it can have. Correct. Um, and this is a non-toxic uh, product, C4. Yep. And all it's doing is making that plant so healthy it's turning it basically into an athlete. Right. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, it's, it's feeding it from the top and feeding it from the bottom. You're right. two different directions. It, it, may, it tells the plant, you know, it's time to go to fruit. And it's producing the best fruit it can because it's, it's bringing all that in. And this is uh, Mike Rogers, Rogers Brothers. Um, Rogers Brothers Grain Storage and Rogers Brothers Farming. And uh, we, we farm about 3,500 acres. Um, we have a rotation. Um, we're on our fourth year. And we are rotating into corn this year. Uh, we're doing wheat, beans, sunflowers, and now we're going to go into corn this year. So we took a lot of our ground. Three years ago, a lot of the ground, the samples I hear seeing, were sod. We planted the first year into sod with sunflowers using MPK, using C4, and raised an 1,800 pound crop of flowers at $36 in 2008. And it was a fantastic year, you know. Right. For, it was a perfect year for everything to work inside. And then we just acquired 1,377 acres of sod this year. Um, we went over and and we we had a real wet year. It wasn't a sunflower year, but it, you know it was a very wet year. Went over, planted it all to sunflowers, and came up with about a 1,655 pound average. Um, uh, very impressed because we had a 30 percent ground down. So what we had in the ground. Produced excellent, right? And um, and we didn't have any bug problem, and the plants looked great. We had a quarter of sunflowers next to us, oil flowers. Um, it was like night and day. To our our field to his, and it just the field wasn't taken care of, and no property was put on. 
and it, it just like it was night and day difference between them. It, it made 800 pounds, and the field next to it made over 2,000. And uh, where that was, because there wasn't as much drowned out there. Right. But then we had some fields over next to a crit that, like you say, we had a lot of drowned out. But uh, the the product, and we've got a lot of guys looking over there. They're they're ranchers over there. They're far, they're not farmers. They've been pushed into farmers. Uh, but most of them are ranchers. They you know they got horses and they they're out there. They got cattle everywhere. And uh, we we come over there and they, these guys say you know. How do you raise sunflowers like that? And two of the neighbors come in and say, "Hi, I never seen these sunflowers. Right there, they must be different." I said, "They're confectionery sunflowers." Yeah, yeah. But I says, "You know, you can do the same thing with oil flowers as what you can with these confectionaries because you're going to gain oil in content." And right. Then, but why would you? Right. Because the sunflower oil well, sunflowers are usually eight to ten dollars a hundred cheaper. Well. Um the oil, so they're looking strong at uh, biodiesel. Right, and and we're you're going to get uh, the big market for oil sunflowers right now. But the problem is they can't produce enough oil. Is is Frito and everybody else is looking into this because McDonald's and and uh, Burger King and everybody else wants to go to that good oil to fry their fries in. Right. But with the sunflowers the way they are, they can't produce enough good sunflower oil. To make good oil, so then they have to flat back over the soybean oil, and they don't. They want to have enough in the market so they can actually move over into that market and stay there without right. moving back over into so, in the soybeans oil when they run short. They don't want to do that. Right. Otherwise, the, I know. I think the demand on sunflowers is going to get larger and larger every year because of the products that are coming out. Right. Red River Commodities is is the f- forefounder of sun butter. Sun butter is a product that is made out of sunflower seeds, and they grind it up and makes it looks just like peanut butter, but it, it tastes like sunflowers. And, and anybody with that is allergic to nuts and uh, can eat sun butter and have no problem at all. It's in now. It's into all of our school lunch programs. They've got contracts all over the United States, overseas, going into school lunch programs where they put 120 pound totes of sun butter, and that product comes from the smaller size seeds. They use the smaller seeds off the confections to make the sun butter, and then the larger seeds, a 20, 60 fourths or larger, goes into the bags, and that market, in shell market, is very, very strong overseas and in the United States right now. So that's what Red River um, and the rest of their competitors are pushing is the in shell market, and they, that's what they want. So to get a larger seed, you have to have a healthier plant. Right. And this product, C4, um, F14 now is is combined with all the products together at the right amounts will uh, secede, supersede anything that I've ever seen on the market. And we've tried a lot of them. We try them every year. Somebody throws them and says, yeah, we'll try it. Uh, well, that, you, you don't know if it's going to work if you don't try it. Right. So, right. And we've got plenty of trials. Yep. We've yep. tried it every which way. Yep, and on different grounds. We've tried it in gumbo. We've tried it on side. We've tried it on premium farm ground. We've tried it on alfalfa ground. Uh, you know, uh, we've tried it about everywhere, and it, it produces everywhere. Right. It just enhances the plant. Good product. Yep, excellent product. So. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Larry Asaf, say hello. Hi. How are you? Jeff Stewart, say hello. Hello. All right, thank you guys.